right hi everyone and welcome back to stack attack number five and uh, this is not the last stack but it is the one before the last stack, which is called the um the last stack before the very last stack <sighs> i forget anyway here it is um so yeah I'm not sure what's going to be here but we uh, as usual we're gonna go through these i don't know what's there i might have had a slight glimpse at what sort of labels are there so i'm a little bit of a that there isn't any gonna be any great stuff there i don't think but i've got that wrong before um there might be that one that's really really good so yeah so there'll be keeps that'll be put up against here there'll be listen to's uh and there will be rejects so let's get on with this parlophone in a rather nice well not nice but a nice clean parlophone uh nice clean parlophone um sleeve i got a f no it's jimmy shand the new rigged ship ship jig it says the new <laughs> let's try saying this when you've had a few the new rigged ship jig <laughs> Uh, Jimmy Shand and his band and on the other side is the Gordon Walsh We'll put it on the listen to Paul We'll put it on the listen to Paul. No, this don't look very good. This is not gonna be very good is it and it is actually is it what is it? No, oh, it's a uh, It's soul into my sunshine or something uh, It's a tenor and it's a tenor so I'm not gonna listen to who is it who is it? Enrico uh, Caruso, is it? I think that's who it is. Anyway, that's the reject pile. So one for the reject pile, one for the listen pile. Ah, an Edison Bell Alpine Echoes. Oh, it doesn't sound great. Not to me, but it might sound great to somebody else. Alpine Echoes, soloist Harry Mortimer with Foden's Brass Band. I'm not a brass band lover. Cleopatra is on the uh, the other side. And uh, it's a cornet sort of solo. Oh, they're both cornet solos. Hmm. Harry Mortimer with Foden's brass band. <sighs> oh, I doubt if I'm going to be in much into this one. No, I don't know. Is it? Oh, it's had a little bit of damage probably play okay on the gramophone player brass bands i'm not that keen on uh, listen to only reluctantly ah brunswick oh no oh no there's a parlophone there what we got here something good dick oh me me vader 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 dick hames Vocal with orchestral accompaniment. My, oh, I don't know. What's on the other side? Uh, another night like this. That's a definite listen to, isn't it? It could do with a. I got a spare. It could do with a thing on it, really. Um, where's my spares? Oh, blimey. Miles away they are. Oh. We'll, we'll chuck it in a thing. But yeah, I think I, the, the name, I recognise the name, but I can't remember why at the moment. Parlophone. My, oh, this is Harry. Oh, oh, Harry James and his orchestra. We've got a good in here. And it's a foxtrot. Great. My silent love. And on the other side. Another fox love. Fox love. Ha, ha, ha. Deary me. More drink. I need more drink. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm I'm in the market for you. Harry James and his orchestra. That's no, that's a good one, isn't it? That's a good one, yes. That's that's basically really a keep, I would say. But um But, you know, so we've got something decent to listen to in the late night listening sessions. At the moment, it goes into the listen pile. Another one on its own is an HMV label. And this is 
Guy, is it Garner, Garner Mia? Alan Jones, orchestral conducted by something, blah, blah, blah. I don't know. What is it from the film Firefly? Have a look at this, guys. And you can see now what I think. Also on the other side, something I can, the Donkey Serenade. Alan Jones. Yeah, that's a definite listen to, isn't it? Anyway. I can't, I can't uh, decide whether it's if something I like or not because I, I just can't recognise. <coughs> <coughs> I don't recognise it. Um, got a bit of a frog in my throat there. Need more drink. Mm. Ah, lubrication. Yes. Now, what we got here? A Riggle Zonophone. Cornet Solo by Jack McIntosh. I know of two bright eyes. There you go, and on the other side is until. Well, that's again. It's, it's, I need another. <laughs> I need another. Oh dear! I need to find myself another. Um, another uh, sleeve. Well, this sleeve has fallen a bit, but it's better than nothing. Right, on the listen to Paul. Ah, oh, Brunswick label. Brunswick label. Oh, what's this? Samba. Uh, Tico, oh, yeah, oh, Tico, is it Tico, Tico, Sam or Samba or something? Ethel Smith and the Bando Karoka. And the other side is Ethel Smith again, organ with orchestra. This one, and it's uh, oh, Lero, is it Lero, Lero? I don't know what this is, is it? Is this okay? I think it looks a little bit. See if it might be. Oh, I don't know. I think it might be all right. Anyway, yeah, we'll put that on the listen to pile because I have no idea, no idea on that one. Absolutely none. Yeah, let's see. If there's any warp ones? I don't think they are. Right, this HMV is Walter Wind Widop, a tenor. I knew it was going to be something like this. I know of two bright eyes, and on the other side is a request. Ah, no, I'm going to put that on the reject pile. Reject pile, reject pile. Ah, mm. we've got no instant keeps at the moment, but we have got another Edison Bell winner here. Is it going to be a winner? Oh, it's got very difficult. Bark, no, Barcarolla, Barcarolla, Barcarolla something can you read that guys by carlos something uh skin or something i don't know i can't pronounce that into mezzo oh god look i'm not even going to attempt to try you have a look guys you see if you can i'm sure you can this is not i'm not going to like this it's going on a reject pile straight away Oh, we've got a sterno. Oh, I've only got one or two. I think I've only got one or two sternos, and one I actually bought. 11 more months and 10 more days. The Borstal Collagens. <laughs> there we go. That's a lot of trouble, is it? Borstal Collagens. 11 more months and 10 more days. Part one and two. This is part one. So the other side's part two. That's interesting now. Isn't that interesting? That goes on the definitely goes on the the, the listen to pile. Oh, what we got here? Vogue, Not many Vogue. Uh, Earl Bost. Oh, Earl Bostic, and his alter sax and his orchestra. This looks like it might be okay. It's definitely fifties. Uh, King Records USA. It says Earl Bostic. Blah blah blah. Ain't misbehaving. Now I know that one. Ain't misbehaving. That's a good one. And Moon Glow. Oh my God, Moonglow. I've been looking for Moonglow with um, Moonglow done by uh, Matt, uh, Glenn Miller, but somebody told me that uh, I don't think it was ever released on 78 by Glenn Miller. Or that he ever, he might never have done it, but I think I have heard him do it somewhere as an MP3 file. That is a good find for me. I think that's a good one. I think that's a good one. Now, we've got a Brunswick here. What we got on here? Old folks at home. Um, Denner Durbin. 
Right, I'll let you better, but I suppose I better let you have a look at it. There you go. Uh, and then the other side is, um, it's foolish, but it's fun. I tell you what, some interesting uh, listen tos here. That's definitely going on the listen to pile. Once again, I need to find a quick sleeve for it in my spares. There we go. So I think that's an interesting listen to pile so far. And um, so we're not doing too bad. Not doing as bad as I thought. Hmm. Now, what's this one? From the Decker pile. Gracie Fields, bless this house. We got bless this house by Gracie Fields on the Decker. And the Lord's Prayer is on the other side. Oh, bless this house. I don't think I'm going to like this one. I don't like these um, later ones of uh, Gracie Fields. I much prefer uh, earlier, earlier ones. And a more... I, I tell you what I like. I like the, the, the sort of... Um, uh, the sort of house, uh, what a music hall, music hall style of uh, of uh, uh, which I think I personally think that Gracie Fields' voice suits that sort of style of music more than it does later on when she tries to do serious songs and stuff. I th I, I like her more of a music hall style. It, it works, but I, I just don't think she had the voice really. But she was a mega 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 star of her time and i can't i can't deny that and i, I so i'm going to put it on the listen to pile but once again once again we have to find a sleeve but i will put it on the listen to pile but i feel it will be ultimately it will be a reject columbia ruby murray i'll oh, nearly falling over stuff now i will be careful here wires and things all over the floor i'll come when you call sung by ruby murray not sure if i'm gonna like this one i've tried ruby murray before i'm not sure how i got on it's the irish in me i'm sure i've had this one as well but have i listened to this before i'm not gonna like this i'm sure i'm not gonna like this Oh, I'm going to put it on a reject pile because I'm, I'm pretty 100% sure and 95% sure. <laughs> uh, Ron Goodwin, I've heard of him, and he's in his concert orchestra, Lonely Heart, on this parlophone label. And on the other side, Blue Star. Let's put that one to listen to, shall we? Let's see. Another parlophone here. Uh, by Ron Goodwin and his or and his concert orchestra, and it's uh, Jet Journey, and When I Fall in Love. Mm. Oh, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know. Fifties Columbia here, and then we all oh dear, we've got a Phillips underneath there. The Story of My Life by Michael Holiday, and Keep Your Heart by Michael Holiday. Ooh. I don't know. God, I don't know. It's just, it's, it's, I'm keeping too many listen tos, and I just don't know. Put it on the reject. Putting it on the reject. It's got a nice, nice clean sleeve on that, though. I might nick that one for one of my other Columbias that I do keep. Um, Winifred Atwell. Winifred Atwell. Uh, and it's the, it's the very common let's have a party one which you know i just it's just not i'm gonna do you know what i'm gonna keep it do you know why i'm gonna keep it because I, I i might upload it for fun on the new record deck player when it comes and the new electric portable when it comes should i say i might do we'll see oh here we are monty varney and his orchestra on this 50s deco label charmaine and Diane, and I'm not keeping that. It's going on the reject pile. This looks like an instant reject pile, and uh, I can't even read it. I don't know. Can you really see anything through here? Mendelin and something. I said, I don't know. I can't read it. They're terrible, terrible labels. These are awful, but I know I'm not going to like that. <sighs> yes, on the reject pile. Is this the last one? This is the last one. Oh, three coins and a 
Fountain. I like that song. I like that song, but it's sung by Tony Brent. And on the other side is Sway. Right, well, there you go. Um I put it on the I'll put it on the listen to. We got one keep, and that's only, and that's not that should be should have been a reject. <sighs> got some listen to's. Yeah, not over enthusiastically about this one, but it's there you go that's the way it goes anyway the next stack attack will be the last uh, normal type stack attack but I, what I may do is get some of the um, 78s out that I sorted through quickly um, before I started doing the lockdowns because the stack attacks used to be lockdowns we did quite a few of those uh, we're only going to get to Stack Attack 5, but there may be some specials with uh, stuff that uh, you haven't, hopefully, mostly not seen. Um, but I'll explain about that when it comes to doing it. Right, thanks for watching this. Cheers, everyone. Look after yourselves. I'll catch you later.